On today's episode of Globe Trotting with Trey, I'm in Las Vegas at the Jewelers of Las Vegas. At this store, you're about to meet Mordecai, the jeweler of Vegas that took care of business for Elvis and became his friend and made this diamond and gold ram's head that Elvis is rocking in this photo once upon a time. So go get your popcorn ready. You're about to learn some bling bling stories from Elvis's juror. See a new location that you can visit next time you visit Sin City. Stay tuned. I'm excited. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. This guy right here, this guy did some business with Elvis Presley back in the day here in Vegas. Would you introduce yourself to our audience? Yes, my name is Mordechai Yerushalmi. I own the Jewelers of Las Vegas since 1974. And Mordecai, I, I learned in December, I believe, of 76. Maybe 3 a.m., 2, 30, 4 a.m. You, re you received a phone call. Correct. I got a phone call from Elvis Presley. He needed some uh, to pick up some jewelry for some of his people, and I took a tray of jewelry to his suite at the Hilton, and he picked up a bunch of rings from the tray. And unfortunately, that was the last time that I got a chance to see him. Uh, prior, I saw him so many times when he was performing in uh, Las Vegas before the shows, after the shows, during the day. It was one of the most wonderful people that I ever encountered. But. Wow. So, okay, so you take as many, I guess, rings as you can. And Elvis, I guess, chose what he, he wanted. Co correct, correct. All right. Mm -hmm. So that night, what did he choose? He chose about uh, five or seven rings, ladies' rings, okay, right. that were popular, very popular at that time. And uh, pretty much that was it. That is awesome. I can't even. I can't even imagine receiving a phone call. I guess was it one of the guys that called, or was it Elvis? Either Joe Esposito. I think it was Joe Esposito Diamond that Joe. called. Yeah. Okay. Joe Esposito called, and uh, he arranged uh, for me to go up to his suite and see him. Yeah, I imagine that's something that you automatically jump out of bed as quickly as you can, and run down to your store, and get your merchandise, and head back to the, uh, Hilton, right? Definitely. Definitely. All right, Mordecai, tell me. What, because of course I never got to experience that, but what was that suite like? The suite was uh, an amazing suite. As a matter of fact, I had my 68th birthday in that suite of uh, Elvis Presley when I turned uh, 60, uh, 16 years ago. 60, 60. Wow, yep. that is awesome, man. Okay. Hey, so how did you meet Elvis, like, the first time? Well, the first time I w on the store at the Hilton when uh, Elvis was uh, performing, so he would pass by the store and we'll chat and he'll come in, pick whatever he wants. Many times uh, they'll ask me to bring some jewelry before he starts the show, so I'll wait for him in the dressing room and bring him some stuff to pick whatever uh, he likes and the relations continued. So you, you were actually around him when you had to see like fans interact and see him. Did, did they go crazy? Was it just... Yes, that was the first time I saw uh, Elvis myself in the show. It was literally I thought I was dreaming because growing up, growing up in Israel uh, in a very, very poor neighborhood, neighborhood and from a very poor family and just realizing how far my dream was to be able to see the king which I never thought it would happen. And then when you see him in live show, you say to yourself, you're blessed. You are really blessed to have the opportunity to meet such a celebrity. And besides him, quite a few other ones that uh, the Lord gave me the, uh, I would say the blessing, okay, to be able to accomplish that. Yeah, because I saw you're actually friends with Chuck Norris, my other favorite. Yes, he's a wonderful person, down to earth. I'll never forget when my daughter had her bat mitzvah, he flew specially to come to the bat mitzvah that weekend, and it was around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, he flew back home. He's the most wonderful people too, and I, 
I know him probably for the last 40 years. Yeah, I noticed okay. it looked like you had a picture about like along with McQuaid area. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget once I had uh, family members from Israel visiting and they wanted to meet Chuck Norris. Okay. And he had dinner at that time at the Barbary Coast at the Michael's restaurant. And uh, as soon as he saw me, he got off of the pit table, left his meal, and came outside to greet me and give me the opportunity to take a picture with him and my family. It's, uh, it doesn't happen too often because some celebrities, when they think they reach a certain point, they are above everybody else. He's not. He's the most wonderful, down-to-earth person, always available for you no matter what. Yeah, and like I told you, I've been able to be around Mr. Norris on a few occasions, and he is a true person and a cool guy, and like you said, very friendly. Very friendly. Very friendly. Mm -hmm. Hey, and has he ever told you he actually hung out with Elvis up at the suite? That, that I didn't know. You need to ask him. Well, I you will. You need to ask I him. I definitely will. It was mm -hmm. in his first book is that, that right? he wrote, and it was before he was famous. Mm -hmm. And you know, Elvis was in that karate. Yep. And he got to go up to the oh. suite and said he said that the thing that stood out was that Elvis, he couldn't believe that Elvis could stay up all night long and sing after the show that he performed. Mm -hmm. So you may have experienced yep. that your own. Yep. But so is he the greatest entertainer of all time? Definitely. Definitely. Well, okay. So how, if anyone is in Las Vegas, how do they find your uh, shop here? We've been here almost 50 years now. Okay. okay, we are in the industrial area because when I started I was wholesale only so I was manufacturing things here and selling them to different stores. And then I opened to the public and we have a complete manufacturing here. We do whatever the customer wants. There is no such a thing that would say no to a customer. If the customer dreams about something he wants it made, we'll make it for him. From A to Z. This is one stop shop. Anything they want, we will do. And Mordecai here, he took care of business and made that jury for Elvis Presley. And Elvis loved this guy, no doubt about it. So come by and visit and pick you up one of these if you're in town. Right, right Mordecai? Right. I'll be honored to help anybody. Well, hey, I appreciate you, man, and I've always wanted to meet you. So, hey, okay. thank you. I thank appreciate you. It. All the best. Don't worry, there's more to this episode, but if you are enjoying this show, please give me a like on this video, don't double dribble, subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey, and find this bell and make sure to click it so you'll be updated with every new Elvis show that I upload each Tuesday. So check out some of the celebrities here, like Tom Cruise with, um, I think Mordecai is right there with Tom Cruise, and uh, um, uh, I know the movie, great movie set in Vegas. Dennis Hoffman, yeah. Casino. Nick. Uh, Nick uh, Nicholas Cage is a big oldest guy. But this is what I want to show you guys. My two favorites. Clint Eastwood. Two more kind of best. Clint Eastwood. Man with no name. And Elvis with one of the copies of the check from that night that Mordecai just told you about December 2nd, 1976. $5,368. So these are some great Christmas cards from the Norris family, Chuck's kids, graduation pictures. And here is Chuck Breaker Breaker era, one of my favorite early Chuck Norris movies when he first became an actor. And this is Top Dog. If you've not seen Top Dog, it's an action comedy with Chuck and his cop dog partner. And that is signed by Aaron Norris. I've met Chuck's brother Aaron. He's a director of a lot of Chuck's uh, movies in Walker, Texas Ranger. But if you're in Vegas, you have to come here and meet Mordecai and buy your girl one of those necklaces. Or buy yourself some bling bling Elvis style. Elvis loved Mordecai. And Mordecai, as I explained and he told, took care of business for the king and made him some rings that bling blinged. Hey, and if you drive a BMW, you might need that bad boy right there. So when you visit Vegas, here's the address. Make sure you stop by and let Mordecai know Glow Trotting with Trey sent you. Get your girl one of these. She probably will love you. So guys, there is the stratosphere. Here is the sign for the uh, juror's entrance, Mordecai. And there's the building. Since 1976 of Las Vegas. Visit when you're in Vegas. Let them know Glow Trotting with Trey sent you.
He's a cool guy. This is an awesome place. He took care of business for Elvis. Thanks for watching this episode of Globe Trotting with Trey. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you did, please like this video, share it with friends, and also comment because YouTube likes comments and they'll share it with more people if I have a lot of comments. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, don't double dribble, subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching. Go get you some bling bling. <laughs>